Hi everyone and welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I have an updated tutorial on how I cast Sorbitol. In 2020, I had another tutorial on how to cast fuel, flexi fuel for a snap ring motor. This is a similar tutorial only with updated techniques. And one of them is I have replaced this old style cooktop with the uh, electric hot plate style with a new induction cooktop that looks like this. It uh, doesn't have any coils on the top and uh, it doesn't get nearly as hot as the old style cooktop did. So that's really nice. Uh, it heats up quickly and works really well. Also, I have uh, new casting tools and a few more tips like how to overcome how sorbitol sticks to everything. So stay tuned. I'll cover a couple more things and then we'll get started with the casting tutorial. If you enjoyed today's content, please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. There's a link down below in the description. Just click on that link. If you have a PayPal account, it's super easy to do. If you don't have a PayPal account, it's still easy to do. That would really help. Thanks. I appreciate that. If you decide you want to go with the induction cooktop, you will need a specialized pan or a compatible pan that works with this cooktop. It, it's uh, made a little bit different on the bottom. Uh, you can look up and see on Amazon what pans are compatible with it. One thing you want to look for is a pan that has a special spout like this, a pour spout. Uh, it just makes casting the material a little bit easier. I highly recommend that. So uh, let's gather some materials and start our tutorial. I have the traditional 65% KNO3 or potassium nitrate and 35% sorbitol already weighed out. Make sure you use an accurate scale. Don't guess on any of this. I have some leftover fuel. I'm just going to toss that in the pan. I have all our casting tools set up. Make sure you give everything a good coating of cooking spray and that will help keep the sorbitol from sticking so bad. Don't forget to get a pad to put your pan on when you're finished making the fuel and that way you don't have to worry about where to set it. I have applied blue tape to the top of each casting tube and what that does is it helps with the cleanup. Any sorbitol that gets on the edge of this I can just pull the tape off. Try to do that while the propellant is still warm and that way it'll come right off. I want to take a quick look at a few things before we get started. This is just a Loki liner that I've reused. The casting liner is inside. I'm using aluminum coring tools and the reason I'm using those is previously when I casted the fuel I would let it sit overnight and then pull the tool out the next day. And I found out that it was very difficult to get the tool out and so I used the aluminum in case I had to pry them out or drive them out. But now I have a better way of doing it. And that is I pull the coring tool after an hour and a half. And in 90 minutes, the coring tool will come right out without any problems. And the fuel is set up enough that it will stand on its own. Uh, for my 54 millimeter motors, I'm using a Delrin rod because it, it really slips out easy. It's, and it doesn't get hot when you're casting. But for the 38 millimeter, I'm still using the aluminum and that works fine. All right, let's get the pan out, start heating up some propellant. I'm going to turn the induction plate on to 250 degrees and let it start melting some of the propellant leftover pieces that I have. The propellant pieces are starting to melt. I'm going to go ahead and put the sorbitol in. As you can see, it doesn't take very long for the sorbitol to start melting. I'm going to start adding the potassium nitrate, one third of it or so at a time.
218 degrees. I'm going to heat the propellant up slowly to 250 degrees. Two thirty six. I'm going to turn the power down and leave it in a heated state for a few minutes. There, that should be good. I'm going to turn off the plate, set it aside. Now I'm going to let it sit about 10 minutes and let the propellant firm up a little bit before I push the coring tools in. Now it's time to push the coring tool all the way to the bottom. Now I let that set for another 10 minutes. After seven to 10 minutes has passed, then I come back and do a little bit of initial cleanup. Save that propellant for the next time. Be careful because the propellant is still quite warm at this point. I make sure that the coring tools are straight. This one needs a little touch up. There we go. Then I pick them up and put them on the stands. And I push the coring tool all the way through. Then pick them up and pull a plug off the bottom. Then I roll up the leftover propellant that we'll use for the next casting, or we can do a burn test with it. I have some oil sprayed on the pan right here. I try to keep the extra propellant out of that oil if I can help it. Now I start some light compression and then I come back in about 20 minutes or so, depending on the air temperature, and do a little bit more compression. And clean up as I go. It's been an hour and a half, and the propellant is still pliable, you can see from the test pieces. Let's see how our cores come out. Now we need to do a little bit of cleanup, but that's looking pretty good. Pass the coring tool through each one. Now all that's left to do is a little bit of cleanup and we'll put these in a Ziploc or some sort of sealed bag and they will be ready to burn in uh, a week or so. And uh, that's about all there is to it. It's been a couple of days and the grains are firming up nicely. You can see here, they, they look really good. This is a, what I call a Super G motor. It's almost an H, it's a full G. So I just call it a Super G. The, uh, I'll snap that. So that, that's looking really good at setting up nice. And one thing I'd like to add too is after I pull the grains out of their forms, I like to take an X-Acto knife and just trim uh, a bevel in here on this edge and that helps spread the flame front across all of the grains and that's really important. Well that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos on your favorite topic, rocketry. Stay healthy, stay safe, help others when you can. I'll see you soon. <music>